So with the release of our new SP shells, I thought it was well overdue that we make the wireless cleanamp for the GBASP. So you can see here we have the new GBASP cleanamp. There's the SKU if you want to find it on our website. And it's nice and wire free. Other than that, it's the same amp. It's always worked. It's always good. Uh, we sold many thousands of these. So I'm sure you guys know what to expect from this amp. But if we take the SP, there's two kinds. So we'll go over the install of each one. Uh, it's nice and simple. Just sits over. You'll see the speaker pads here. This goes exactly over where they were. And everything else lines up nice and spot on. So all you've got to do is place it in position here. You've got to solder to VCC here, this pin. You have to solder to SP, which is here. So this pad goes straight onto SP. And up the top here, we solder to ground, which is the top of this resistor. Vol, which is just here, which goes to this pad. And then depending on your version, if you have P35, you solder to this P35 pad. And if you have switch here, you solder to just the switch pad and you don't solder the P35. So let's just install this so you can see it in position and how quick it is. So just start by pre-tinning uh, your pads. So you can see here I've already done it on this one. So VCC pad here, just pre-tin with a bit of solder. Same for the SP pad here. And if we go up to the top here, you can see you've got a resistor pad here. So you want the top of this resistor pad, just a bit of solder on top like that. So you've just got a nice bit of ball of solder. Just makes it easier. Pre-tin the vol pad and pre-tin the P35 or the switch pad. If you have switch pad here, SW, don't pre-tin P35. Just pre-tin the switch pad. You won't be soldering onto that one. Once you have that done, I like to start kind of down here with aligning the speaker pad to the speakers and getting your vol pad and SP pad roughly in position like so. So you can kind of see there and then check your speaker position. Check the overall ring position here. Kind of get it in position like that. Once it's in position, just tack one of these down. So we'll tack, say, this VCC pad down. I'll just put plenty of solder on the iron and just tack as simple as that. Then just recheck your position. Speaker's still in place. The speaker pad here is in good position. Up here, you can see he wants to be slightly down, just about there. So you can hold that in position. If we go up to the other end now and just tack, either the switch or the P35, depending on which one you have. So in this case, we'll tack P35. And what we want to do is position this so that this pad here is correct. So if we just blob solder and move this over and kind of hold this board so that this pad, because this is going to be the trickiest one, this pad is sort of in good position like that. And then if you solder this pad on, you'll be able to see now there'll be a slight bow in the board here and that's just our position of this one's to change so all you've got to do now is reflow this and the board will naturally just loosen up and expand into the flat position and all we do is tack this back into position and now you should have a really nice flat board laid out so that's how to get the best position it's not that critical if you don't want to be that accurate you can simply just blob the solder points on and they'll match but if you solder the bottom one first, then the top one, and then just loosen the bottom one so the board can kind of flatten out and rest where it wants to be, you'll get the best position. So that's them two solder pads on. And then it's as simple as just getting your iron. Now you have both hands free, lobbing some solder over the pads like that. Uh, go up to the ground pad here, pre-tin. And then with this one, you probably want your tweezers just to make flat contact. And you can see here, you're trying to get the solder to stick between that resistor and that pad. So you can see that I think we just about got it. It can be quite tricky. So I tend to start with this one. But there you can see we have the pad on. So if you struggle with that, you can always just attach a wire from the ground point here over to, say, this solid ground of a connector. Or you could use a bit of enamel wire to bridge the gap. That's the only one you might struggle with. After that, we just blob onto the vol pad, like so. And on in this case, onto the P35 pad that we've already done, we'll just refresh it so it's nice and clean. Get some IPA. Just clean up your connections. So that's all there is to install in the amp. 
Um, if you're using the original speaker, which we actually recommend at the moment, uh, we have a universal speaker, but it's not the best in SP. We actually recommend, until we come out with the SP speaker, to simply use the original speaker. Because this is in exactly the same points, you don't have to solder the speaker. You just rest it in exactly where it would go, and this will work. But just for demonstration, so I don't have to put this into a shell, I'm just going to pre-tin these and chuck a speaker on, just so we can hear that it works. So with that speaker just resting there, let's just power this off the bench power supply for a moment. And now with the bench, you've got the audio. This is obviously a dirty volume wheel as well, if you hear that crackling. That's nothing to do with the amp, that's actually the volume wheel being dirty. So hear that crackling. That's just when you need to clean your volume wheel with IPA. But there's the amp installed, and this will work correctly with headphones as well. So when you plug the headphones in, this will properly disconnect the amplifier. I don't believe any other amp on the market actually does the same as ours, where it will correctly disconnect with a headphone. And the reason I say that is because if we bring in the second version of the SP, you can see the difference on this one is we have both the SW pad here, where it says SW, and the P35 pad here. And notice we don't solder to P35. You can in fact even cut this off or tape over this pad. But when you have both SW and P35, you solder to only SW. And this is controlling the headphone disconnect. So without this setup, without this dual setup of either one or the other, if your amp doesn't have that, then when you insert headphones, it's not going to disconnect the amp. The sound will stop because the Game Boy's amp will stop sending audio to the SP pad but you'll still have your audio amplifier running and any background noise will be going through the speaker. It's not the end of the world, it's just a small detail that I like to make sure ours are perfect when I make them and we don't have any kind of little issues like that where in theory the speaker's still running when the headphones are in. But hopefully now, installing an amp in an SP is a much quicker process and it's much neater when you're now using uh, clear shells, for example. You don't see any nasty wires, it's nice and clean. Uh, and it's much quicker to install. It's seconds to install instead of five to ten minutes with wires. If you have any feedback on these amps, by the way, as well, or any of the designs we make, I always love to hear your feedback. If you've got any improvements, any criticisms, or just any questions or comments, just jump on our Discord or comment on the YouTube and let us know what you think of the products. Your feedback always goes back into the next iteration of products, and over time they become better and better until there's no more improvements to be had. This is the first revision of the SP Flex board for our CleanAmp Pro. So there may well be revisions here. We've got a new audio speaker coming, a very special kind, nothing like anything on the market. It won't be a speaker in the conventional sense. It's something very special. That will then work with our amp as well. So stay tuned for that one. But that's it for now, guys. I'll see you again when I've made it for the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Original. That should be coming out in the next few weeks too.